an amazing instrument and has developed into an incredible voice in today's music. So many types of guitars, so many styles of playing, all sorts of gear. How does one make their voice be heard as a guitarist? My name is Jeff Floro and welcome to All About Guitar, where we talk tone, we talk technique, we talk gear. Where we discover how we can become better musicians in a world of constantly changing technologies. Where we take a good look at everything guitar. And sometimes not exactly guitar, but just as important. So we can be more successful as a musician in today's music scene. So sit back and relax, and let's explore all about guitar. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to All About Guitar. As you can <laughs> see, we have a full house here tonight. As I, usual, Jeff. As I usual. just kind of told some of my friends that uh, Steve was coming down with uh, 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 with Armando, and we were going to look at some of the new Godin guitars, and everybody showed up. No, that's great. No, I invited so everybody here. Let me introduce everybody here. Kathy Lauer. Kathy. Steve. Steve Fister. Everybody, these are all regulars. Armando, welcome back. It's been a while. Yeah, it's, it's good, good to have you back, Thank man. you for having me back. And uh, Andrea Lisa is coming down. And hidden is uh, my good friend Ron Herbrand, and Doug is hiding in the corner. Run it, Doug. So, so come on up a little bit closer so you're next to the mic. Um, so tonight we're going to be talking about um, Godin guitars. And I'm wondering before we, I, was, I have a song set up for uh, Steve to play, but why don't we, before we do that, why don't we just go ahead and talk about some of the guitars, the new ones? Before we get into these guitars, because I know we're going to get in. Sure. So do you I, want to you come on first? closer? Yeah. Do you want me to bring them in? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let me grab them real quick. They're right here. So what what we're doing here is Armando brought some of the acoustic guitars that Godin is uh, featuring, and we're going to take a look at them, and uh, and then we're going to get into the electric guitars that, uh, especially the ones that Steve uses, and you're going to want to take note of some of these pickups that he's using are really really cool. Um, while we're waiting for Armando to bring the guitars in, Steve, give us a brief rundown of what your pedal board is so they understand what you're using. What we got going here is um, I'm running through, um, uh, geez, it's a 19, the mid-90s classic 50 PV mm -hmm. amp. And what we got is a Tube Screamer, plain old TS9, into the Solo Dallas Schaefer, Schaefer rep replica mm -hmm. that called the Storm, which... Um, <clears throat> Somebody graciously lent me, and I don't know if you're going to get it back, because it's so cool. <laughs> It'll be on his next tour. So. <laughs> it, took, it so, took three months to get it. Yeah. Uh, um, so we've got, uh, uh, the solo Dallas thing is really great, and uh, responds great to the guitar, to the dynamics, and it's a, it's a wonderful piece of gear. And I've got a round sound. Um, it, it's basically a clone of an Ampeg Scrambler. Mm -hmm. Do you remember those pedals? They made them for about six weeks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it sounds great. But it gives you this kind of a... Uh, um... Nice. Like, Very nice. Like Jim McCarty and the, and the Detroit Wheels. And uh, it's, a, it's a fun little pedal. So it's basically pretty simple. And your basic wah-wah pedal. Oh, very cool. That's all. And then he's and this is his that 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 PV is a great little little sleeper amp that most people don't realize. Don't tell everybody good. about them because I want right, to buy them all up. I didn't say anything. I promise, I didn't say anything. <laughs> anyway, okay. Before we get into that, we're, we're going to have him uh, show more of these guitars. He what he's had done to his guitars are pretty amazing. But Armando, let's get back to you and let's talk about some of the stuff that you have here. Yeah. Well, new for Nam um, on the electric side for Godin is the uh, radiator radiator series. Uh, Robert Godin originally released the radiators uh, in '88, 1988, and it just came back with some amazing new aesthetics and just configurations. This one in particular is the Bourbon Burst. It's a um, leaf maple body and neck 
and uh, do, you know dual humbucker configuration three position switch and you have volume tone and tone and a wraparound bridge with what you know you have different you know you have the different uh, you could adjust each string individually it's not like the old school kind of you know uh, wrap around bridge the neck on this it's, it's just a 24 and three quarter scale nice um and you know it's one 1.72 inches uh you know the width on the neck you have a graph graphite saddle which mm -hmm. is tusk i mean uh um nut and uh amazing weight and it's just a great really resonant electric guitar you can hear it here without any pickup and the awesome thing about about this configure i mean with this the, this construction is that the weight and the resonance but also just i i love how leaf maple mm -hmm. has a nice figure but it's turn not, it turn it towards me from but there it's not go. quite like a flame yeah. but the great thing about leaf maple is that it's bright and it has a lot of attack but it doesn't sound harsh like sometimes if, mm. you know if a solid maple body can get kind of harsh and that guitar right there made in north america um, so, you know, sells average street price is five ninety nine, which is awesome. Wow. You're getting a lot of guitar, and uh, you know, That's all made bad. in North America. That's a lot of guitar for that it kind is. of money. It is. You kidding? know, I love it. It's a great wow. rock and roll machine. This one, of course, is 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 um, you know, it's a bolt on construction. Also, um, gonna, it's also leaf maple body, maple neck. What's Rick, this model called? This is the Session HT, and uh, HT is for hardtail. The sessions come with a with a with a with a trim. This one's a hardtail design. It was a no-brainer to bring it in. We have the GS1 single coils, and then the um, Godan Custom uh, humbucker, which I'm just I love this com the, the the humbuckers. The pickups that are designed by Godan are amazing. They're all voiced for the for the guitar, so it's you know it's like to me this guitar is perfectly hot rodded already out of the box. Great tuners. Hold it, hold it, hold on. You're moving it too fast. I can't grab it. Armando, the stock pickups are really good. They are. By the way, they, they voice them. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but I've had some of the stock pickups. And I'm telling you, you don't need to change them. They're, yeah. They're real, the humbuckers in particular. Yeah. Uh, I, can, I can definitely. Flip it around them. to see the back. Oh, okay. That's it's, also yeah. the bourbon burst. It, now, both of these guitars come in the same three finishes. You have the bourbon burst. You have a trans cream and then a matte black. Mm -hmm. um, Notice on the back the way he has the strings mounted from the back, but look at it's through that. Uh, it's a it's metal. It's oh yeah, like, the metal. It's like a, a, a like plate. a, you got a ooh. like a tremolo yeah. block. Yeah, yeah you so won't. It's a little more sustained. It's a little more sustained. Uh, that that sort of that that you know that string vibration that you're gonna get from the back to the front locked in with that i've seen that with brass also mm -hmm. but i think it's a great idea and also it's a lot easier to feed them through that's what i love about what it. is that is that just stainless steel or is it uh, it's stainless steel just stainless steel yeah wow it's a really neat guitar this one sells for 6.99 with an awesome gig bag and um it's to me it's a great knockabout guitar um for like i'm a top 40 guy i played covers all my life this is a great guitar that i can throw up in a bag and you know the nuts graphite Everything's pretty much ready to go. You got a coil tap, five position switch. So all the sounds you would need to play in a top 40 band or something like that, like you have it right here. The radiator too has graphite, right? Graphite yeah, band. yeah, tusk. What, what's the scale length on the? 25.5, yeah. Oh, so. All right, so that's it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, now, is it the same price for the tremolo? Either one? I think it's a little bit more. Okay. That'd be a great travel guitar. Oh, it's man. great. It'll fit an overhead. I, I, I've learned a secret about going on the road and <sighs> unbolting a neck and shoving the neck <laughs> and the body in a your suitcase. There's and there's your second bit. guitar without pain. Duty. There's a little bit of stress involved there. Uh, a little bit, but yeah. not yeah. good to do. Okay, what is this one? So That's this pretty. is a Look seagull. That. Um, as a lot of people don't know, but Seagull is, um, is, is probably almost just as popular as Godan as a brand. Um, it's owned, operated, and designed by Godan. It's an acoustic, uh, you know, it's an acoustic brand that Godan owns. This is, now the S6 Classic is probably the best-selling Godan available. Um, they're, they're, they're known, they're super comfortable dreadnoughts, but the thing about them that makes them really special is that it, they're cedar tops. And I'm a huge Cedar Top fan, and something that I've always, you know, championed because Sitka gets you that bright sound, Mahogany gets you that warm sound, Cedar is right in the middle. 
and really is perfect for recording, mm. strumming, and singing. To me, cedar is, is under underused in steel strings. They use it more mm. in classical. And I thought it was brilliant that um, that uh, Godin and, and Siegel used uh, cedar tops. So this is the S6 Classic um, I AE for acoustic electric. So it does have the, um, it has a Fishman sonotone, uh, very simple tone, volume, out of the way. But look, this is where, now you got this really great rock and roll, classic black matted top with the white perlioid uh, pickguard. And then you have the Canadian um, wild cherry back and sides, which is just so beautiful. That's pretty. Isn't look that wild? Sides. I, I love they did this backwash finish, blackwash finish that just makes the that Canadian, makes it it's Canadian up. maple. It's Canadian uh, wild cherry. Wild cherry. I'm sorry. I'm and, writing this down. Play yeah. that funky music, white boy. Yeah. <laughs> but I just think this is such a great rock and roll Let's looking guitar. Mm. You know, solid top. How's it sound? It sounds pretty cool. So this one's four ninety nine. Wow, oh four ninety nine with, with a Fishman yeah, yeah. pickup in it. Yeah, and oh, great. This wow. and to me, this is just you know made as, in North America. being a rock and roll guy, North American made. Being a rock Flip and roll guy, but still being an acoustic enthusiast, this really sings to me because it just has a great vibe. It's different. It's made out of cedar, and um, the value four ninety nine North American made solid, um, solid top, and um, yeah, that's, this was new. Uh, and I loved it. I think si si um, Simon, um, or maybe Simone, um, I know designed, I can, I can. <laughs> he de designed that guitar. This is one of his new designs uh, that the new team... He did yeah, good. Yeah, came out. He did a great job. It's pretty. And then this, closing off another great traditional, um, Godin Acoustics, uh, all solid, are kind of new for the company. And it's a no-brainer to come up with, a, with acoustic, because, you know, they, you know they, they, own, they own all their factories. Well, Godin, Godin owns another company that makes like really high end. Yeah, the, I forget the it's a name of a guy or something. Norman. Is Norman Norman Brands. Yeah. And there's 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 a there's a couple other different brands. Norman, there's Simon and Patrick, and then there's Art Luthery. Simon and Patrick. Yeah, exactly. I, I've had somebody come in with yeah, one of Simon those Patrick's beautiful amazing. guitars. And uh, Norman as well. They're totally different. Norman is was kind of uh, Robert's partner in the beginning. And um, they have a, they're, they're completely revamping the line. Mm -hmm. They showed that at NAMM. That's, that's going to come out very soon. Um, and um, pretty exciting. Simon and Patrick, uh, obviously, Robert's sons, Simon and Patrick. So mm -hmm. that's kind of where that name yeah. came from. Those are amazing guitars. The Godin brand are all solid, all made in North America. This, is, this came out new. This is the classic, um, the classic um, Metropolis QIT. Or Q1T. I'm still confused because I'm new. If it's a QI or a Q1T, but this is an all-solid wow. acoustic guitar, Sitka spruce top, mahogany back and sides, all solid. Yeah. It's a beautiful, beautiful mahogany um, figure right there. And this is just right up the wall. I love these vintage open gear tuners. Mm -hmm. That really sings to me. I try to get that on most of my guitars. Mm -hmm. Then you have a rich light fingerboard, and ebony bridge. You have tusk at the saddle. Um, and uh, at the nut, and then you have this great pickup system with um, bass, treble, and volume, built-in tuner, all solid, comes in. What's the electronics? It's the uh, Godan Custom uh, Q1T or QIT. I have to remember because sometimes, sometimes I hear okay, different. It's, it's made, it's proprietary. Bit. It's proprietary. Yeah. Nine volt, volume, bass, and wow. treble, and then you have uh, the built-in tuner. Oh, very really cool. cool. Comes in a hard shell ish case called the Trick Case, T R I C, and this is eight ninety nine, all mm -hmm. solid. So th this is a starting. Go price. ahead and play a little bit of this. Yeah, this is a. Here, let me use a pick so it'll pop a little bit more. So.
got nice all work hands. I love it. It, it resonates really nice. Um, I think it's a no-brainer. I, I don't know if there's anything else quite like this at eight ninety nine, dollars made in North America right now. Mm -mm. And the, this kind of construction. And Especially solid, all solid. All solid. You know, braced beautifully. And uh, the pickup works amazing, too. Turn it around to the back. I want to get the uh, this back. These, the woods are just beautiful. There we go. I love mahogany. You can't yeah, do it. mahogany's just... It's Americana. It's right, right in the pocket. It's warm, and um, you can't beat it. It's a tried and true um, Sitka and mahogany combined together. It's just a tried and true. Is that a, a rosewood or ebony board? This is rich light. Rich light. Yeah, rich light. Rich light. Ro I mean, we're starting to see rich light, and um, and and I think rich, rich, you know that's a great choice, especially a couple years ago. You know, the Sides thing really challenged rosewood. I think. Rosewood's, you know, having less problems now, but it's better to find new. Is rich like Canadian? Yeah, native to Canada. I believe so. My, under, my understanding, it's a it's a composite wood, and it's really dense, and um, like so it has like properties ebony. more like ebony. More like ebony, yeah. Because it looks dark like ebony. Yeah, yeah. And they need special tooling like to cut it because it's so dense. Wow. So um, it, it's it's really good. It makes the necks very very stable. You know, you don't need to be truss rod adjusting with, with the rich light. I've been really happy with it. Now, all your wow. guitars are yes. rich light. Yes. Yeah. It's been the it's been the, the the pretty much the fretboard of choice, I think. On, oh on, yeah, the real state in a thousand on up price. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is the go down. You know, the go down acoustic. I'd say on any of this stuff, if you guys have a hard time finding it, um, you can get in touch with me. Go to the dealer locator. But if it's in California, Nevada, you definitely want to hit me up because I need to tell, tell, make sure the dealers have this stuff. What's your? Do you have your email, or do you know your? Yeah, it's um, you know, it's you. You can reach me on social media, Armando Vega, or yes. um, you know, I, um, go to the dealer locator and go down it. You know, there's such a sm we're such a small group that you know if you called in or emailed in and said, hey, I'm trying to find a dealer, they respond really quick. Cause I get them daily, you know. Hey, somebody's looking for a, um, you know, a classic um, Metropolis in, you know, in San Diego. Where can I go? And and they'll 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 contact me. I mean, we're we're all connected and everything. But give the go down all solids a, a try. It's something new to add to your arsenal, and it's a great guitar. I I mean, I've been around acoustic guitars for quite some time, as you know, man. And I've just blown, oh blown, yeah yeah I was blown away by this. Just completely blown away i can't wait to see more of these out there so this just came out at nam this is the um they 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 go from this is the starting point 899 but they do go up to 1299 1799 yeah there. but still a great value for an all solid guitar but now what do you think uh how would you describe the difference between the electronics there and the electronics on the, the fishman electronics so we have a reference well i think there you have tone only and they're both they're they're both piezo based right they're under saddle is it so, just the one so, pickup, but there's no microphone in there? Yeah, like there's it. no microphone in there. There are other, as you go up, you get the, you know, they get the B-band. And, I mean, the LR bags has a contact, and you get a little bit more of, of the body. Right. Um, and, but here you have treble and bass, where there you have tone, and here you have a, a built-in tuner. So I think that's the primary, the biggest thing. That's good. But, but I think um, in, in, as a singer, and you're talking to people, that's valuable because you can't, you know, looking for when you're trying to talk to somebody and you're trusting your tone and you're looking for your tune around down on the floor and you're not communicating with people. This is really important, I think, to have it up here. Is it, and you know, your set list right here and you know, you have the yeah. controls there. So to me, that, that makes the utmost sense, you know, to have that all there. So, but I think that's the primary function. There could be the preamps, as you know, can change drastically. So, um, I'd, I'd have to do an A and B, but. You know, I do know that this is a higher price point too. Like, well, I know the the other uh, Godan guitars, the the your electronics have been proprietary before, so they they've yeah. been around. Yeah, they're, they're, I In found... fact, the other the other day I I saw Andrea playing a Godan, yeah, the classical one, and that electronics were nice. You got mm -hmm. a good oh, sound out of it. La, La Patrie? I have a multi Encore. Nylon, oh, those are great. Nylon string. Yeah. We have to do a, another show on multi act alone, man, Sammy, sometime. Yeah, I was hoping you were going to have to. I know, arm. I should have brought it, but well, I, I, well, we I figured let's time. bring the new stuff, and then Steve, Steve's got some amazing guitars and, and chops galore yeah. to show us. So, so we'll, no, we'll have more of Godin, and especially yeah. now that you're, you're and he's local boy. I've known him. Now there's no <laughs> excuse. You've got to come down and hang with us more. Absolutely. So but anyway, that's a great the great price point. But yeah. All of those guitars, that Seagull for four ninety nine. 
I can't. You know, that's pretty. That's pretty amazing, and then it's yeah. electric too. So. Uh, yeah, it's. You know what? It's on my loan. These are these are my loan instruments, mm-hmm. so I can show them to artists and dealers, and and uh, I'm pretty sure that one's sticking around. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. But it's a, yeah, it's a rock and roller one, and Armando's it rock is, and roll. And I beat up my acoustics a lot, and and I think that's definitely one of those guitars that I, I mm-hmm. would have no problem, mm-hmm. you know, just really putting it through the riggers, you know. I hear you. Okay. Cool. So this is the new stuff over. This is the stuff that they were showing over at Nam. Now we're going to talk about these electric guitars, which I love. These guitars. Look at this one. Oh, this one is a beaut. Um. <laughs> so what it, t- these are that's the uh which model is this that? is a summit and it's a limited model summit and it has the gold foil pickups the lawler gold foil pickups and they're like supercharged single coils and um they really don't hum much um they this have this loud clear really really it's like a strat on steroids again and the guitar is really simple it's got all the um it's graph tech right yeah everything's graph tech and graph tech and it's got the revoicer in it, um, which is a little circuit that what it does. Um, what it does basically takes the EQ curve and kind of makes a smile. And out on the road and stuff, I found it pretty, pretty convenient with some really, you know, not up to snuff back lines. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you need a little extra push. And this is it, and it runs on a nine volt battery, and um, it works really well. So it re- essentially is like two sets of pickups, is what it is. So it gives you that little extra thing that you would not get, say, in a premium Gibson guitar. Right. Now we had talked you know. before when Steve's been on a few times. We talked before what he was looking for in some of the guitars. If I'm correct, those are chambered, right? These are chambered. Uh, what is it? Five chambers in there? I believe so. They're in, in they're tap tuned. Because St- Steve, if that. you listen to his, his earlier stuff, he was using a, an old three thirty five. Yes, and he's real partial to them, and he's also partial to the the uh, trapeze uh, uh, tailpiece. And we have that on the Montreal Premier, which yeah. with the special H, H bracing, which we'll get into in a minute. Yeah. So anyway, really cool. what, do you want to use this guitar for the first clip? Yeah. Why not? Okay. So we're gonna we'll play. Just play uh, then... What was the one you wanted? Uh, uh, Painted black. Let's try that one. Okay, so here we go. Let let let's hear the guitar in action, then we'll talk about what he did to it. Okay, here we go. Thank you. 
That sounded great. <laughs> Those Lawlers are nice. They're really nice. Now, you use them more for straight guitar playing or you use them more for slide? You know, I, my initial thing was because of Roy Cooter, you know, uh, to use this as a dedicated slide guitar in the mm -hmm. show where we do a lot of open tunings and a lot of stuff. But And I, they were always these mythical gold foil pickups, and I never tried them. And pretend that was in tune. <laughs> that I pulled the string off the board. Um, so I was really curious to try it, and um, I initially just jacked up the action stuff and used it for slide, and it really had a really interesting voice. And I thought, the guitar is just too cool to leave it as a dedicated slide guitar. I wanted to try it, you know, as a dedicated six string for uh, with the trio. And we did a rehearsal with it, and we did some basic tracks here uh, within the last two weeks, and it sounds great. It really has this big, it fits with, um, it's a very loud, clear sort of sound. It's a little different than humbucking. We have some, some humbuckers there, which, you know. It's got a nice... It has a nice sparkle to it. The sparkle yes. without being sure. that, that aggressive, ice-picky kind of sound like strats can get sometimes. This is not like that, and yet it's 24 and 3 quarter inch scale. And uh, it's pretty maple top, pretty but mahogany back, mahogany, yeah. back, mahogany back, and, and the neck as well with the rich light fingerboard. And it's just it's beautiful. Look at that. Go finish. ahead, and, yeah. yeah, flip it around to the back yeah. so we can see the wood. There we go. Did you get this one at Nam? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I I came in. I saw saw it on the wall, and I said, <laughs> um, mm, and it had the and the Can Lawlers I buy already? this one? Can I? <laughs> it had the Lawlers on it. Yeah, and they're they're mounted really solid, and yeah. adjustment wise. And like I said, I'm not really. With the trio, a big dedicated single coil guy, but these these are really cool. I mean, you know, they have a real interesting, and you can use the middle position a lot, which which I don't a yeah. lot, but it's it's a nice. So and then and then uh, it's got a little snap. And then you can go right to. So yeah, they're yeah. very interesting pickups. It is interesting. It's not a P90. It's not a single coil. It has a totally different sound. It's a totally different thing. And I, and I wasn't sure, you know, how is it going to fit sonically in with the trio? Yeah. And um, pff, high marks, kudos, ten. How's it sound so, with the two screamer? Like, let's try it. See, it goes from yeah. goes from this to you know. Now, that's just the tube screamer. Just that's tube not screamer. with the solo Dallas. Just tube screamer. Oh, okay. Very little. Just a just pushing the the front of, end of the amp just a tiny bit. You know, it gives you. Tube screamer. You can get this nice sort of. Uh... That's right, we're on, we're, yeah. <laughs> uh. Now, all right, well, we're, let's move on to the next guitar. Let's move on. And while he's doing that, I'm going to mention this, his latest album, Let It Slide. Let's I have it the, right. Let's go with the H-Brace one, that one. Yeah. Okay. And uh, this is his newest one. You can get it everywhere, I think. Everywhere. Besides stevefister.com, you can get it there, too. And I also want to mention right now, also, too, while he's setting up, godenguitars.com is the website. Rip these. Oh, um, this guitar. Now, this is the this is the one that's more that's like his 335. Right? Yeah. That has the solid maple down the middle, right? This Actually, this is really unique um, to go down. It has what they call H bracing. And I don't know if we can get a shot of it. Um, but it does have a center block, 
but it, it's almost like an H. Mm -hmm. So it really breathes, and you can see the body is a bit smaller than a 335, which was my favorite guitar of choice for, for many, many years. And one of the reasons why I got involved with the company is I was looking for something to replace my, you know, ancient 335s. I, I, I had this thing refretted maybe seven times, and it was just, it was time to retire it. And what, what's going to be the alternative? This um, is small enough. Probably I would liken it to a Gibson, what, 339? Is that the smaller, smaller body? Right. But they don't have the tonal quality, 335, with this bracing. And I know it's a little strange for a rock player to use um, the trapeze tailpiece, but I like it because it drives the top of the guitar. And it's a big, fat sound. And yet cleans right up. And um, this guitar, um, it's what I call my 335 killer. Mm -hmm. You know, so you can take it with you on the airplane and you don't have to, you know, because it can, you can put it in a gig bag and it goes right in the overhead. And it does everything that... Uh, so th that's all maple with a uh, rich light neck? Yes. And what are the humbuckers? The humbuckers, okay, this is another thing. This is where Godin always gets it right, you know, Armand, they, they always do. These are Duncan pickups, and it's a jazz, Seymour Duncan jazz in the front, which is one of Seymour's favorite pickups for, for this style. And um, a custom custom, which I, I always thought would initially be too hot. You know, I don't generally like the hot pickups. I like to drive the front end of the amp more than the pickup. Um, but this thing, it can clean up nice. And I, I run it, I don't run it totally clean. I like to let the... And with the... You can go off to Hendrix Land real easy by... Yeah. You know, <laughs> and all the extraneous noises and stuff. Well, I, I like that. It's this is this is not a purist gig. You know, so you get yeah. a lot of different sounds out of it. Well, show us a little bit of the tones and, and okay. with gain and without gain. Okay, here with um, just plain old. This is bridge. In the middle, it's got the little sparkle. Turn up the volume a little bit more on the guitar. Maybe how about a little tube screamer? Okay. Right, that's, that's the bridge. And then neck. In the middle. a lot of tone it definitely it's does. a you know it's a, it's a big fat sound too which is really nice yeah you know? for usually flame the flame this you know this kind of design mm -hmm. the flame type would be really bright really bright sound it has a, it warms up really nice and you know we could you know put put a mute under here and stop some of the overtones but i like the overtones yeah. you know what i mean it's like <laughs> What strings are you using on that? Um, Diodario's, nine to forty-six. Nine to forty-six. And so just, you're getting a yeah. lot of tone, and he gets a lot of harmonics out of it too. It's, it's just feels um, good. Well, let's do the. 
Yeah, no. Kind of well, like he, he gets that yeah. tone. He gets that real brown yeah. sound. Yeah, and uh, and also too, if if we could turn that amp up, really crank it, you'd be hearing that it thing taken off. It just it, it. What the cool thing about this guitar and what I like, and I know a lot of more rock guitar players don't, is I love it when it drives. You know, I, I can feel it. You can almost the top. The feedback drives the top of the guitar and almost blows your arm off the guitar. Yeah. It's <laughs> it's a very strange yeah, yeah just you know it's like the um... you can get some of those kind of things yeah, without yeah. going you know. to Great White Buffalo Land exactly yeah, I was exactly. going to say <laughs> Nugent Sea yeah, yeah you know yeah. okay enough of that. Now, can, that you can, that's a, a pretty much a standard. You can get that guitar like that. Is that pretty easy? Yeah, to the get? Montreal. It, it, you know, they're still available. There's, there's quite, a, there's a couple of different variations. You should go to godangguitars.com and check them out. But um, you know, the, the this guitar. I mean, the um, I think street price is somewhere around twenty one ninety five, something like that. You know, it's pretty reasonable. I think if you go in there and beat them up, you can get it a little better. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you can get it. You can get it with those pickups. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, every, and now you stock. can get it with that tailpiece? Yes. You can. The LTD, right? So you can yes. ask for the Steve Fister model. Uh, As a premiere. Uh, Mario, do you, did you hear that? Okay. The Steve Fister model. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is just stock as a stove, and um, it, you just get it really like this. A uh, comparable um, other name guitar would be, you know, twice as much. Yeah. Twice as much guitar, and yet... These are really Basically solid. Handmade. And yes. that's a solid guitar. And believe me, he takes that on the road. That thing gets a beating. It does get a beating. And it, it, the re, the, really is good. this a revoicer? Yes. Do you use that quite a bit in your set? You know, with this guitar, I don't. I don't. Right. Um, but it's, again, it's something that's unobtrusive. You yeah. know, it's out of the way, but it's there if you need it. You know, yeah. um, it gives you like, essentially another set of pickups. That's just an option that. That that's just really cool to have have on board. You know, it's it's not like it's something that you have to push pull or something. Yeah, something yeah. you know cumbersome. How many guitars do you travel with? You know, when you go on the road. Um, now or then? Like now, like when oh, you when now you... now basically three. Okay. Three guitars. I have a backup, and I just have one for tunings, and you know, and I'll capo and stuff like that. Yeah. So, I you know, it used to so be five it's, guitars. It's and now three it's, actually, right? Yes. Yes. Well, let's look at the third one because we're almost okay. out of time. Well, the time goes fast, doesn't it, Jeff? There is no time. <laughs> it's hurry up. This one. Okay. All right. Tell us about this one. <laughs> you see, do you see what, how it, how, what a great sound it has? It knocked the mic over. Um, Tight, tighten the, the thing on the other side. This the other guitar. Side. I love that finish. I got you. There we go. We don't want to fall down on this guitar. All right. Go ahead. I will not fall down. This guitar, <laughs> it's another, it's another uh, limited uh, Summit and it's a limited edition and what it has that that's a little bit more unique is um, uh, The bare knuckle pickups and these are handmade in England and these are the mule bucker pickups. Yeah, so these are kind of like the Warren Haynes um, Kind of thing. So what they really are is just Juicier a little bit higher output PAFs and they, they're really I have um, bare knuckles on some of my other guitars and And I just love the company. I think they make really really great stuff and one cool thing about um, the summits, Jeff, that I find that really consistent, you know, like mm -hmm. between that one and this one, and they are they are chambered. They're not super heavy, but look at the back. Look at the detail oh, yeah, yeah. in the back. Yeah, you have that, cr that rib uh, contour. Yeah, the, the, it's it's and that's it's that's big. maple top, ma and, uh, mahogany back and neck. Yes, yeah. with the rich light fingerboard. Right, and it has this. Uh, let's see, it's going to be. These pickups get a lot of output. And you can still clean it up. That's about, you know, that's 
the bridge, middle, and so you see, you really get some nice, yeah. It's a really nice humbucking guitar. Sound. Now, tell, show us with the with the uh, <laughs> boost it. I want to hear what this thing screams. Okay, so then let's see. <laughs> in the wall. <laughs> Robin Trower land real easy. It's yeah, no problem, man. you know? Those pickups sound nice. They do. Let's see if, uh, probably sound a little better if it was in tune. Yeah, they have really fat sound. Ooh, you know? Really they're fat. They're fat, but, Beefy, they, but, but he's getting all the harmonics. Like, you were just using the tube money. screamer, right? Just a little tube screamer. You yeah. weren't using the cello Dallas uh-huh. in there. Okay. Because he's getting, he's getting all those overtones. He gets a there lot. we go. All right. So it's like... <laughs> See what I mean? It's uh, this is just the amp. They're very consistent. sizes as the other summit same thing okay yeah same thing so, so I, a medium, I, medium they're like, a medium fret mom, uh, jumbo and i like them i like a little bit of relief in the neck and we're still yeah. we're still kind of messing with this one a little bit but um so far so good Massage. just threw strings on it and, not, and here we are but they've been really really consistent and with these um aftermarket you know boutique pickups it's it's just a great value and, uh, now is this available like this with those pickups, or is that a custom? It is thing? available. I'm not sure on the finish though. Um, I, I mean, like I said, but you I, can get those pickups on. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, uh, you know, it's it's in it's a semi classic uh, limited. You know, right. And so the limited, I think. So you have a choice of different pickups you can get on it. I believe so. Uh, you know, I have to look. I have to look um, on the summit. You know, because they, um, re, you know, at Summer Nam, that was the the one that I really got a chance to see the one with the four. Right. With the you four. had another one, though. You had another summit with a Bigsby on it. Um, yes, that was one that was kind of custom shopped out a little bit okay. for me. But I know you put the really Bigsby because nice. they didn't yeah. have the trapeze. Right. And you for had that. put that on there. But you, that's that's a that's, a, that's another one. Montreal? You, was it Montreal? you have it's, a few it's, of it's them. It's a summit. Oh, okay. It's a summit, yeah. too. And there's um, they make another model with, um, they're also Lawler pickups. They're El Rayo pickups. Yeah. The Lawler humbuckers. And those... Those have a really interesting sound as well. It, it, this, the basic build of the guitar is so good that, you know, the boutique pickups do do shine. It's very, they don't all sound the same, you know, like, uh, particularly with the, um, the Lawler pickups, they have a real different sonic sort of sort of yeah. take on it. They're not, you know, it's not strictly less polish. Is what yeah, I mean. no, you get a lot of different yeah. tones out of them. Right. It definitely, you know. Well, we're out of time. I okay. told you. Play. So anyway, check out this album. <laughs> Let it slide. You'll hear some of this cool stuff. And here's the uh, uh, the Montreal right here on the pick the front picture. 
and the picture that we posted That's on that promo. Guitar. Yes, That's and uh, so tell us real quick where you're, what's going on, where you're playing, what's going, what's happening. We'll be heading to South America, um, and th- th- that is if the virus doesn't kill us all. Um, <laughs> in, or at least the shows. Yes, yeah. and and we have a European run at the end of October through midway through November of okay. 2020. So that'll be you know Germany, Belgium, um, Holland. You know, and oh, check cool. the website. Will be you know everything. When you posted. how long are you going to be in in South America? Uh, probably eight days. Eight days. Okay, yeah. so it's a short. Trip. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's it. That's pretty much it. It's uh, the trio. So stevefister dot com. Check that out, and yeah. you'll. All this stuff, all this info will be there. Uh, real quick, um, goatinguitars.com for you. What are you doing? You, I know you play. You're gigging. You yeah, yeah, gig. yeah, yeah. Just, so tell us. Oh, uh, just, you know, you could, I'm playing around town. I'm in a Monat tribute, so we play uh, quite a bit. It's a Latin rock um, band, you know, classic rock, Latin cool. rock band. And I'm playing uh, um, metal cover band. It's been playing for 20 years. Metal yeah, that's what I see on your, <laughs> yeah. on your Facebook. You see, I, I, see I, 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 I'm a strong believer in staying, um, you know, keep keeping, you know, staying out there and playing and, and just keep keep those chops going, man. It's, it's the only, you know, I, I mean, been doing it so long that, um, that, you know, not gigging, it just feels like, you know, I, I know. know. Well, I think, just gotta... I, I think it's important because it you're is. gigging, so you know what it's like to be on stage and what the needs yeah. are. It's like you do. So yeah. when you're, you know, working for a company like Go and you're giving them feedback that's Absolutely. important because, you know, you're out there in the trenches. Yeah. It's a great, you know, uh, being a practitioner is what it really comes down to. Yeah. And, and that's why I've, you know, picked the stressful hobby of being in the music, music instrument business. <laughs> 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 but yeah, no, and I work for Godin Guitars. I'm artist relations uh, for the U.S. and sales for California and Nevada. And I'm on social media, you know, on Facebook. Check him out. Instagram. He'll hook you up and he, it, uh, he can get you to get you a Godin. Are we going to go to Nevada? We should go to Nevada. Okay, we're going to Nevada. Okay. We're going. We're going to go tonight. Okay. okay. Let's do one of those. <laughs> <laughs> All night. Just drive, turn we'll get around. get in the car and we'll go. And come back. <laughs> no, okay, yeah. Real quick, Andrea, what's going on with you? Um, most of my shows are out of town, but I have one at Vibrato with Freddie Ravel. But what are the ones out of town, too? Because we have listeners all over the place. Okay. Uh, so I'm playing uh, at the Burks Jazz Festival at the end of this month with Kirk Whalum. That's about the 28th. Nice. Um, and then on my website, I have a whole lot of shows starting in June. Um, tour with Kirk Whalum. Yeah. I'm also playing in Nigeria in May. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I'm excited about that. Yeah, um, the other day was International Women's Day, and she's probably the most international <laughs> person i know she's ever she was you were born in south africa you lived in new zealand, Raised in new zealand. she's all over the place lived so it's great Australia. but now we've we've yeah. uh, stolen her she's now american now we've taken her mm-hmm. and kidnapped her permanently here and you can check on my website andrealisa.com andrealisa.com and uh yeah check out that you're going to want to check out that montreal i think mm-hmm. for your style you use a semi-acoustic yeah. you're going to like that yeah. uh kathy give us information on you uh, nothing local for Sister Skinner, um, but possibly we may be in the Bay Area um, in the summer months or Memorial Weekend. Uh, Tone Zone, we're busy right now. Really busy. I don't know. It must be something in the air besides the virus There's about getting your here. pedal board done. But yeah, we're, we're ToneZoneLA.com yeah. yeah. for that. And check that out. She really knows her stuff on that. Okay, well, listen, we're out of time. Uh, I'm going to have you take us out on Baker Street. Let's try it. And uh, so let me, uh, everybody, I'll let him take us out. Have a great week. We'll see you next week. And thank you all for listening. And Armando, it's great to have you back here. I want to see you more. We'll have to do the other guitars. I'm here, man. So be prepared for that. There's much more we have to do with Godin. Steve, you're always welcome to come by. Andrea, Kathy, Ron, Doug, thank you guys so much. Okay, let uh, <laughs> let's go out with Baker Street. Everybody have a great week. We'll see you next week.